Hi everybody out there in Wasabi land. This is Jennifer with Oregon Coast Wasabi and I want to welcome you to our new video series Wasabi 101 and as you can see we're filming at our real life wasabi farm. Our first episode is about the history and botany of wasabi and we just harvested this plant and you'll be able to see the harvesting and trimming of this plant in future episodes. So <clears throat> wasabi is a really interesting plant. It has been cultivated for many hundreds of years. It's been used in various ways for thousands of years, documented back to like before 600 BC. Um, the Japanese have known about this plant and used the plant in various ways. It um, has been used, it has been so valuable that it's been used for paying taxes. It's depicted in all sorts of amazing and very old artwork. It is a very, very highly regarded plant in the Japanese culture. Um, and it, um, so it has, a, it has a very rich history. Most people in the United States know it from sushi and going to a sushi restaurant and getting something called wasabi on your plate. Most of you, which has been a really interesting experience for us, now realize that most wasabi that shows up in restaurants is not um, real wasabi. It doesn't have real wasabi in it. It mostly is horseradish and mustard and dye. This is a real wasabi plant. <clears throat> It is related to horseradish, but it is not the same thing. It's in the same family, which is the brassica family. And that family also has mustard in it. It has broccoli and cauliflower and kale and things of that nature as well. So um, the spiciness of wasabi and horseradish are actually kind of similar because they have similar components. They have similar, similar chemical compounds. So uh, historically, the plant was first used for its um, medicinal properties. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the later episode. Um, but right now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the structure of the plant. So <clears throat> this is a full wasabi plant. Um, roots all the way to the tips of the leaves. That's your full plant right there, okay? So it has, it has what looks like a very traditional root system. People talk about the part that gets graded into real paste as the root of the plant, but it's actually not. It's, it's, talked, it's talked about as the root or the rhizome, but neither of those things are really true. The part of the plant that um, gets graded into the paste is actually the stalk of the plant. And we're, like I said, we're gonna trim this, so you'll get to see that in future episodes. But right here, I want you to look, right here is a nice stalk. This is the part that people would refer to as the rhizome. This is the part that would be get graded into the paste. This part, the roots can be used for things. You can see, you know, they're the part that's under the soil. So here's, your, here's where your soil would be, where my hand is. The roots are under the soil. The stalk is above the ground. The roots tend to get kind of muddy, and so it's hard to use them for things, but they are really spicy. The entire plant's edible. We're gonna talk more about that too. And then um, after you move your way up the stalk of the plant, you can see that it's growing some leaves. You can see these really nice leaves. These are the these nice things right here are the leaf stalks. And then this plant, because of the time of year, also has some flower buds on it. And so this is a good, this is a good example of the stalks here. These two stalks that I'm holding are just grown. The plant just grows these when it's producing flowers. And the, um, so the rest of the year, you won't see these. You'll see the leaf stalks but you won't see these stalks with little, little tiny leaves on them and the flowers right at the ends. These, when people ask about wasabi flowers, I um, tell them that they're, they're, they're a lot like spider plants. So this is the flowering part. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in the future as well. So this is the structure of our plant. We have the roots, we have the stalk or what often is referred to as the rhizome. This plant is old enough, it's about 15 months old. It's been producing offshoots. So these little things here, 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 this plant probably has 20 offshoots on it. These are all offshoots, leaf stems, and then the flower stems and the flowers. Okay, thanks so much. That's the history and botany of our wasabi. And for those of you that it matters, the uh, scientific name of this plant is uh, Wasabia japonica. Okay, obviously referencing its, its origins in Japan. Thanks so much.